It makes me nervous. <laughs> hey, Dave Safransky is here, <laughs> president and founder of Edgewater Investment Group. I know. One thing I've been trying to figure out all morning about our friend Dave. By the way, you can ask your financial questions. We've been doing that live on the show. It continues now. He can't make faces at you now, though, because you'll see it. That's the difference. I will make faces at them. He actually will. Uh, or we can uh, review some stuff from the morning. If you want to hear Dave's opinion about the billboard, we can get to that. But I've been dying to know, is that a pocket square or just a folded up piece of paper? <laughs> It's a pocket square. Does it come out of there? No. It's sewn in. Sewn it looks in. like a piece of paper. It's Brian, it's not a piece of paper. I don't know how to... I think what you need to do is you need to kind of... It looks like a pocket protector. You put a pen in there. Don't touch. It, I it told it you before, don't touch me, Brian. Do it. <laughs> sit in the pocket. And, hey, guys. You should yeah, do one of these. him away. Yeah. I need glasses that I could tape up. Maybe I'll wear that to the Moody Men's Conference. Just a pair of broken glasses all taped should. up. You should. Uh-huh. A poker hat. You know what I'm going to do? I'll be like, all right, Dave. Uh, Dave Safransky is here. Stand up, Dave. Everybody boo. Aww, <laughs> they wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, they would. It's a men's conference. It's a men's conference. They, they definitely would boo. boo. Yes. A women's conference. Like, oh, you That's stop so that. mean. So mean. Do you laugh at women's conferences? Yeah, we laugh. We have fun. About we talk what? about y'all. We laugh at y'all. So what did your husband do yesterday? And then we start laughing. <laughs> 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 That's the joke. What did your husband do yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> so women are funny. Deborah says, get to be live today. Good mo yeah, usually you come after, Deborah. Good morning, Sheila. She says, Brian, I laughed at your squirreling away acorns joke. Thank you, Sheila. I'll be here all week. D uh, Deborah, <laughs> wants to know, Deborah wants to know, Dave, why the tie today? Uh, because every once in a while I have to work, Deborah. I mean, it's <laughs> just that simple. Usually, I go to my office, I shut the door, I lay down on the couch and go to sleep. My staff wow. wakes me up at about 4.30 and says, Dave, the it's market's closed, you can go home. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's actually his effort to look like he knows what he's talking about. That's, that's what that's about, right, Dave? It's, yes. We have three yes. pieces today, by the way. Three I didn't even notice it. Janelle, did you notice it's a three-piece suit? Yeah. Love wow. has never even worn Not a three-piece even close. Well, actually, when he had to walk my sister down, yeah. He well, maybe like pieces. his. Yeah, he when has he to. his room temperature and we put him in the casket. I'll well, do that, yes. Yeah. No, he'll have a hooded sweatshirt on, I'm sure, for that. <laughs> no, Pull hopefully over. I won't be here. I want to die the day after Len dies. Or the day before he dies. Sounds like you have this planned out. <laughs> I know. Uh, that's making me nervous. Uh, that's a service my company offers. If you're <laughs> <right>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get your questions in to Dave if you would like. Uh, you can ask those here, and he'll answer your questions live on the show. Uh, but yeah, he, he got that suit, by the way, as I, if I'm not mistaken, at Big Lots. There was a clearance <laughs> after Christmas sale, and Big Lots uh, had a good sale. It was, so good job, Dave. Yeah. I have something for you. I, I, I actually tried something. It's a twist off of the Millennials Avocado Toast, which is the okay. dumbest thing ever in history. Yes. Especially because I was in a hotel in San Diego and I sent you a picture because I needed something to eat and all they had on the menu was avocado toast. It was like 13 bucks. Of course it was. Yeah. Guacamole toast. Guacamole. I love guacamole, which is basically avocado yeah, with all like smashed up, right? And with stuff in it. Yeah. A little salsa. Is that the recipe, you know? Stuff in it? Stuff. Whatever's in that refrigerator. I, uh, can, I, can I prefer to have... Uh, guacamole on chips? Yeah, you could. Wouldn't that make more sense than on bread, Dave? But what if you didn't have chips? What if all you had was bread? Bread, all I had is bread and guacamole? Yeah. What kind of world is that? Guacamole? That's toast. weird. And then you could put those little, like, it had a, a little, like, flowery garnish on them. I'm like, do I eat this? This is so millennial. So I played a video game and I went down to the basement in the hotel and ate it just like a millennial would in, in their house. Until my mom told me I had to stop and get, <laughs> do my chores. Yes. <laughs> so, well, um, until you get a financial question, we can do plenty of other things. What we have here, I'd love to hear Dave's opinion on this. We talked about humor earlier on the show today. And Dave and I are known, if you ask our wives, for being slightly unaware of the, the boundaries for humor. Yes. Slightly. Yeah. Ever so slightly. And part of it is we've been taught that by offending our wives over the years. And other people at church. And other people at church and such. <laughs> but the question becomes, there's a national news story, Dave. Pizza chain, local pizza chain. They put up a billboard to try to, try to make people laugh and buy their pizza. They had things like 
in, in the past to make people laugh, like legalize marinara. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good, huh? I think mean, it's yeah. funny. I'd laugh at that. I'd buy pizza just because that's funny. How about this one? You'll never have abs, so order pizza. <laughs> yes. Or this ad. Free box with every pizza. Mm. Or my personal favorite would be, if it's not there in 30 minutes, move closer. <laughs> oh, that's good. But like the it. most recent one was, fat people are harder to kidnap. And so it's read between the lines. Eat pizza. Well, it is true in its base form that if you lined up 20 people and one of them was very large and the others were small, all with the same socioeconomics, the kidnapper is going to take the smaller person because they're much easier to stuff in a truck. I mean, trust me on this. Again, a service my business offers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a numbers issue. It's a numbers issue. So it's funny. I mean, we. I think... You love to laugh. How do you find the boundaries? Here's how you find the boundary. You keep making jokes until somebody says, that is totally inappropriate. Tell the joke <laughs> I said in church one time. <laughs> you want me to? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> this apparently is beyond the boundaries. You're not going to believe he did this. So Dave is hanging out with some people after church. I think it was after church. Yeah. And they're talking about the fact that Dave's about to go to a, a vacation on the beach in Mexico. And the woman across from him happens to be like nine months pregnant. And she's, she's, she's got, it's a large baby, okay? And so she goes, man, Dave, I'm so jealous. I wish I could go with you to this beach vacation. And he goes, without pausing, he goes, aren't you afraid they push it back in? <laughs> wow. But it's funny. It's the beached whale. It's the Janelle is look at she's a. Did he even did he even know this person? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh well, no, yeah. Then that's funny. And, and she looked at me like I was crazy. I said, "Well, don't you think they might want to push you back in the water?" <laughs> <laughs> your wife is your wife made you apologize. My wife was offended for her, and I I did go and apologize because apparently that is so you learn the boundary by passing the boundary and then coming back and backing up. Yeah, and saying so, okay. <laughs> Making fun of pregnant women, not funny. Not funny. Not funny. To, to the pregnant women. <laughs> if I had said it to anybody else, we would have been, right? But, yeah, it's probably best not to cross out. We do have some financial questions coming in. Thank, Thank you. you, Teresa. <laughs> she says, I have a beautiful face, and she wanted to let me know. So can you guys oh, give a shout-out to Teresa? Is that a Teresa? financial question? Say what's up. Say what's up to Teresa. What's up, Teresa? <laughs> She says she has a question for the financial advisor. She's 54 and will be 55 in August. Is it too late to sign up for the Ohio Deferred Composition Program to add money? No, it's not. In fact, uh, the Ohio Deferred Comp is a really good plan. They have a lot of great choices. And you could build a really good portfolio in there. But now, because you're 54, you have to look at it a little bit differently. And the way you have to look at it is like people in Chicago vote. Uh, early you on. have to save early and often now. You have to save a lot of money. You know, like people in Chicago vote like nine times in every election. Uh, you have to save like that. You have to save a lot of money because we, we have a, a shorter period of time. Now, remember, there's a chance that she could live to be 90, 95, 100 even. Um, so the money's going to last for a while, but start saving. Use Ohio Deferred Comp. And, and I don't like that my my least favorite funds are these time dated funds so you go I like oh, the 2030 fund funds. the 2040 fund the whatever it is i want to know what's in my investment portfolio i want to pick that portfolio an ohio deferred comp it's called the 457 plan ohio's 457 plan they have really good choices it is a good plan utilize it it's the four what 457. It's a. It's a. Uh, I prefer the 458. Yeah, I know that. that, that plans, I knew that about you, Brian. That plan's one better. <laughs> yes. Uh, by the way, Deborah agrees with your wife. Not a good joke. No, Deborah, it was <laughs> a joke. Good is joke. not too good. Uh, Mike has a question about 1099. <laughs> he is a as a cons as a 1099 consultant. Is it better to take the income as an LLC or ordinary income? He what? says not too many expenses. By the way, Dave, LLC is a limited liability corporation. Yeah, exactly. Right, Brian. Your your legal knowledge knows. He's a really. He's Basically a lawyer. Go ahead. Basically. Right. 
Actually, you are basically a lawyer with that knowledge. <laughs> right? You could go to court and, <laughs> and argue a, a trial, probably just... And yell objection, can, sustain, things yeah, like that. Exactly. Um, so, you even as an LLC, you're taking it as ordinary income. The LLC is, a, is kind of a corporate shield under which you, you have some liability protection, but it's, it's considered a pass-through. So it's coming through, the, the income's coming through to you no matter what. Now anybody, anybody can file, um, a, it's a, um, a Schedule S, which is what you deduct your business expenses from. Anybody can file that. You don't need to have an LLC to do it. I like the LLC because it just offers some protection. So if your husband gives somebody some bad advice, which is, you know, or advice that they don't like, and they come back and sue him, they're going to sue the limited liability co corporation, and not you personally. And that does offer you a little bit of uh, legal shield. My wife just showed up, Dave. Did she? Oh, at, hi, sir. This. Did she think the joke was funny? Um, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. A lot of women don't think the joke is funny. So anyway, moral of the story, Dave agrees, my wife is the best. Anyway, uh, <laughs> next question. <laughs> Uh, um. Now see, he <laughs> has to work at stuff like this. This is, he's practicing, when he's driving places, he's That's practicing all, he's all of this exactly. stuff. Exactly, he practices with his I feet. actually, no, it comes naturally. It's like, oh, Brian, are you listening to me? And I'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, I was distracted by your beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah, she oh doesn't laugh though. I don't get it. No. I just doesn't get it. Brian, wh wh where is your mind right now? I'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. I was day daydreaming about you. <laughs> no. See, you enjoy this. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use these things. They're gonna be co-opted into my family. Yeah. My wife doesn't ask me if I'm listening. She Sarah said, I miss the joke. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to repeat that. No, I don't repeat it. Ask me later, honey. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike says with Schedule C, right? Schedule C. Schedule oh, okay, C. Cool. I said Schedule S. S Schedule Ds are also S There is a Schedule D, but uh, a Schedule C is where you put all of your business expenses or bi uh, expenses related to whatever business you're in. And anybody can file a Schedule C. You don't need to have an LLC or a true corporation or anything like that. But I, I, I like the I like the shield of and the separation of an LLC. So you get a checking account for the LLC. The LLC files taxes. Um, it, it to me you it's a keep clean your away. stuff uh, very separate. Yeah, too. exactly, exactly. Because well, by the way, breaking news! Breaking news! This just in. Quick, Janelle, read Rachel's comment. Quick. So yeah, you got to keep your stuff very separate. <laughs> He's like he wants to read Rachel. Brian is definitely funny. Wait, what? I didn't hear that. Brian is definitely funny. Sarah's probably like, yeah, that's right. Amen. Preach, sister. Rachel is obviously a millennial living in her mom's basement, not yes. working. She's probably a... Actually, if, if I were to Facebook stalk her, I'm pretty sure she's actually a, uh, a comedy critic. Comedy <laughs> critic. <laughs> that's her no, we just Facebooked her. Look, well, it says right here, I'm a millennial living in my mom's no, basement. No, it does not say that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I read the wrong line. She's very pretty. But well, I, don't, I don't know about the taste and jokes, though. See, you keep bringing up, you're trying to get David to comment on people's physical appearance. I won't do it. It's we like, don't it's do it. inappropriate. This. Oh, my goodness. It's inappropriate. My wife is the most beautiful woman, woman in the entire world, and that's I all we need to know. I when Len does that. That is so dumb. Why is that annoying? Like, I'll ask him. We'll be watching TV, or we'll be in the car, and I'll be like, oh, look, she's cute. What do you think? That's a trick question. That's a trick question. Oh, Set my up. God. Run, Len. Run. And I always tell him, listen, I am not dumb. I know you got eyes. Run away from that question. Just say, and then, oh, I know what you're talking that's about. That's crazy. That's annoying. The other You'd thing like, is. You'd be like, you should go, oh, that's a woman. <laughs> All right, David. Are you that sure that's a woman? <laughs> the other thing <laughs> is, when I tell him about a guy, like, I'll be like, you think that guy's cute? He says he doesn't know. That is so dumb. <laughs> oh Why are you trying to trap your husband in an argument? You Why don't know. Why do our wife want to argue with us? You don't know if a guy looks handsome. Uh. <laughs> That's dumb. Whatever. You guys are crazy. <laughs> if my wife says, do I look nice in this? Yes, honey. That's my favorite outfit. I do have... No, but see, that's here, a risky move. No, no, too. here's what I say. Here's what I say. Because I do have, like, some favorite things that my wife wears. And I'll say, you know, I really love that um, that that outfit that you had on a couple of weeks ago. I love that. You, it just, it's awesome. 
No. And, and then I pretend like something's burning on the stove. Yeah, no, see, <laughs> the latter is, wow. is the better move. If, if your wife says, what, what do you think of this outfit? How do I look in this? You do like the commercial. You just jam something in your mouth. <laughs> Remember like the Snickers commercial? The guy's like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> or you're like, you fake an injury. Like it's a soccer match, you know. Yeah, that's right. What, what, what do I look like in this? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then they take the guy out. Like <laughs> soccer is the worst sport in the world for this. You would you would think if their injuries were real, half the soccer world world would be dead every Saturday, right? They'd be like, oh, Stan, we need to we need to get this guy. To, uh, he's back in the next play. <laughs> no, they're like, oh, wait a minute, I'm okay. <laughs> You know, you have to acknowledge there's certain questions that why doesn't you just stop asking that's your husband? That's dumb. Yeah, stop I stopped asking. asking, but I just told him that's really silly. Like you're thinking it in your head, so just tell me. Like, what's he the knows big secret? That that you're gonna file it away, <laughs> and it's gonna come <laughs> out. And it's gonna come back out. Yeah. Oh, what you want me to look to look like that girl in the show? You <laughs> think is all cute? That's what she's gonna say. Yeah. So one well, I gotta time, go like this. that's what you would do. <laughs> I bought my wife for Christmas uh, something. To wear. Oh, that was a risk. And I bought what the wrong size. I bought the wrong size. I always go too small. Well, I did. Oh, my God. And Maybe she you said, look like Is this the size, size you think I am, or is this the size you want me to be? I'm like, What'd it's the say? size oh. I want you to be. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm trapped. There's, what do you say? No right answer. Fake an injury, Dave. That's when you fake an injury. So, Sagres, who always, <laughs> Sagres always texts in, he's Brazilian. And he's a pastor, so if, like if his message isn't going well, he'll frequently fake an injury right at the pulpit. We oh gotta drag him out like a goodness. soccer match, and somebody. His like, wife is listening now. She didn't like your joke earlier. <laughs> I know she didn't like. <laughs> <that>. <laughs> Not funny. Sagres's wife is what she how she signed that. Yeah, <laughs> he's probably faking an injury someplace because he was laughing. And like I told you, Rachel is a comedy critic. She says she's the queen of dad jokes. Everyone knows dad jokes are the best. And They're single four. mom of five, she's y'all. Queen. She's in While charge. y'all talking about her being a millennial, a irresponsible millennial. I, I still think, I, I still can't figure out why you think it's a good idea to ask your husband to comment about another person's beauty. Because I am strong enough and mature enough. You could tell, listen, that's what I tell him all the time. I Go got you. I got you. You got six kids with me. You ain't going nowhere. You can tell me she looks cute. You ain't going nowhere. This is That's this is a hook. <laughs> this is a hook. That is it's not It's like a that meat hook serious. getting thrown into Len's past. And she's going to let him go. No, all Let him go. And no. then at one point, she's just going to drag him down into this All fight. jokes aside, I think it is unrealistic for a woman to think I'm the most beautiful woman in the world. I know there are other women out there. That's stupid. You understand. He is to not Len. with me for to that. Len. I hope not. To Len. You are. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 He, no, listen. But I understand that he could look at another woman and be like, oh my gosh, she's cute. It's not that deep. So because we all know that many women in their bodies, that what is they do so is crazy. they go to that verse on love. Love is patient and kind. They get to the one that says keeps no record or wrong, and they scratch it out. <laughs> Sheila agrees. And they scratch it out Thank because you. she's going to use that answer no. against them. No, Sheila agrees. She says, don't ask your poor husband if women are cute. And Rachel says, Janelle might feel comfortable enough to do that, but I wouldn't even ask. I don't care. Like, I for example, guarantee. let me use an She'd example. She'd be like, what, what, Lynn? I don't look like, who, who would it be? Let, I'm going to use an example. If he tells me, man, Jennifer Lopez is cute. Oh yeah, duh, duh. What am I gonna sit next to my husband she wrote thinking? It in the margin and keep no record wrong. <laughs> <on. She goes, laughs> there are this. women he thinks he's it's are cute. Why does uh, he have to keep it a secret you understand, from me? Because you understand, it's better. Man. It's just better to keep That's it a secret. That's so immature. You That's don't crazy. understand men. That's what it is. <laughs> That's right. To Len Neville's, you are the most beautiful the woman. The most woman beautiful world. woman who has uh -huh. ever walked the earth. And any other man can't even see you. That's right. Don't even no. don't even know you're there. It's not that deep. Dave. On this, Brian is 100% right. On this. Wow. There it is. If my wife ever says, do you think she's beautiful? I'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you, Deborah. And Deborah, she's, she's, I like you. She says, yes, Janelle, you should be able to ask. I agree, it's not a big deal. He I don't have be to ask. be cuter than Je ask. Jennifer Lopez to answering. feel secure in my marriage. That's just silly that women can't handle that. 
I've always got a one-liner for questions like that. If Sarah, she's oh no, if you can't handle it, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you silly. I'm just saying I can handle it. It's oh, silly. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't see that scene. I was so busy gazing at you. Yes, yes. Yeah, right. I'm sorry. I can't think about that right now. I have a wedgie I'm dealing with. I would do anything not to answer that question. Can we just talk? <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yes. Listen, wouldn't it be ideal though? Do you guys agree that you could have the kind of relationship where you could tell each other that and it not be a, that serious? Nope. Nope. Doesn't Long. exist. Sorry. Oh I'm sorry. sorry, that's wow. incorrect. <laughs> she might need the men's conference more than the men need the men's conference. <laughs> I think you and I what? should do a women's conference. Yeah, oh. What would it be called? Let's say it right Session here. Session one, here's how to properly load the dishwasher. You have no idea what <laughs> yes. you're doing. Session Look, number Jennifer two. Jennifer Lopez, that How a light switch works. <laughs> <laughs> number three. Stop asking men these questions. Yes, yeah, stop it. And then we'll do some worship and you go. Teresa. What about Chick-fil-A though? <laughs> Teresa says, Jennifer Lopez, that's Hollywood. I'm with my friend Rachel. She agrees that she doesn't she wasn't wouldn't ask. I just brought up that name. I've said, even in the car, if somebody's in the corner and I'll be like, Oh my gosh, look, her hair's so cute. Or look, she looks cute. It would not be There's one answer to that. Not I, as cute as you, baby. Yeah. That's a wig. That's the answer. <laughs> She ain't nothing compared to you, honey. Yeah. Boy, I don't need to hear kiss. that. That's almost condescending. I don't condescending. need to hear that. So there was this guy no, in Hollywood that my wife kind of liked. You know, she thought he was cute and everything. And I always say, I read an article, he doesn't take showers. <laughs> I would do anything to knock that guy down. He doesn't take showers. He's mean to his kids. Turns out he was mean to his kids. And he didn't take showers. I was right the whole time. You can't Cigaris, smell on the TV. Cigaris, my Cigaris' what? wife my is wife. like, men's conference with Dave, please no. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Oh, Cigaris', Cigaris wife. wife. Yeah. He got he's going it. with me. He's riding in my <laughs> truck. Now he's riding in the bed of my truck. <laughs> it's going to be cold, too, because it's the end of February. But you said your wife oh, what? Wait, no, no. Br breaking news, Janelle. What did Deborah say? We're not the norm, though, Janelle. It would cause problems in most relationships. I'm blessed and I have to worry about it and I'm not drop dead gorgeous. Like I had one time where I said, like we, we had another couple friend and she got her hair cut or something. And I looked and I said, wow, oh, your hair looks really nice. That looks, that looks great. Big mistake. And later on she said to my wife, she's like, what is he doing complimenting my looks? Doesn't that make you jealous? Doesn't that mm -hmm. upset you? Yeah, big mistake. Wow, Never did that dude. again. Yeah. I said, actually, I, I'm a complimentary. I like to be complimentary. Yeah, the dudes, the men. But occasionally I could mention if she gets her hair cut, that looks nice. You could say that. Mary says, I reverse it. I flat out say, that woman's cute as a button, or she's beautiful. Then expect him to say either nothing or agree with me. Win-win. Yeah. He's not going to agree with you. I just steer forward if we're driving. He can agree with me. I pretend like nothing has been said. That's exactly said, what, what Len does. That's what? Dumb. I got this thing in my ear. I couldn't hear you it. A lot of call. call. Not to make it too <laughs> serious, but it's almost like, yo, babe, you don't think. It's almost like hurtful. Cause it's like you don't think I'm mature enough and secure in myself enough that I would be able to hear you say. I'm on a call. You don't even have a Bluetooth <laughs> in your ear. I, I want it. I want to invent an app deep. for the Apple Watch that will instantly make it sound like I have a phone call. <laughs> so you just go, boop, and it'll go ring. Oh, Mike, oh, let's get back to okay. that. I got to take this. Mike, has, take this Mike has a good question. Would men be okay if you if your wife says some guy was a hunk? I don't know about a hunk, but if Sarah was in the car and she mm. was like, oh my gosh, look, he looks real fit or real whatever. What would you I, say? I like to remind my wife I'd on a daily basis. I like just like to tell her, there are millions of women who would kill to be where you are. <laughs> so right I don't now. know what you talk about. Kill. You should see the trail of broken hearts I left before we met. <laughs> yes. Trail. Wow. Trail of tears. It is not that deep, people. I think that honestly, there's a double standard. There is. You don't like it, but it's fine. What, yeah. What's the double standard? Women can say all that. I'm inviting him Most to tell me. Most women can't handle it, Janelle. You don't know that? I mean, look, look at no. Deborah. Look no. at Deborah. Yeah, but Len knows me. We've been together for 23 years, Listen. and he thinks I'm one of those I women. know Len. He is a <laughs> smart man. He's a smart man. He knows that you're going to file that little thing away, yes. and someday you're going to be like, what, I don't look like Jennifer Lopez? <laughs> if my I know wife said her hair say looked that. nice, I'd say, I didn't even know she had a head. Dude, can you <laughs> imagine I, I don't know. how stressful your life would be if you feel like you need to look like the most beautiful woman in the world for I your husband you. to find you attractive, you have to know 
He, I, I'm not. No. Th- no you that's would say not, at some point there'd be a little, a little argument. Like mm-hmm. he'd go, you know, honey, I like that dress better. You'd be like. Why? Do I look like Jennifer Lopez? Is? Roseanne in the <laughs> house. You'd say something no, like I that. Wouldn't. You would no, say it. No, I would it. not. I would not. I'm just not taking the chance. I'm never saying Roseanne it. says, maybe it's because I married later in life, but I don't get why any woman would be upset by this. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you haven't been to my house or her house or his house. Or around any women at all. <laughs> right. Right. Really? Wow. Yes. That's crazy. I'm probably gonna get I'm it. I'm not even later, surprised so that you like, think that most women wouldn't handle it. I'm surprised that you guys aren't saying really they shouldn't. I mean, no, like, look, you know, it's you random know, we've women. We've been down this Wisdom. road. We've been down this road, and we have been beat over the head with this answer. So when your wife says, "You think that girl's pretty?" I look, you're the most beautiful woman in the world. And then I'm I, dumb enough to believe that. I'm dumb well, enough for you to tell me no, no other woman's beautiful. That's not but be, to being realistic. You are the most beautiful woman in the world. You know, I don't great. have to be. Where does have have why be. do women reject that concept? Help me with this. We talked about this before. Laurie's like to black to finances, please. No, 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 no. What, why <laughs> do women reject the reality that to their husband they are the most beautiful woman in the world? Go ahead, explain that. Why do we? Like you reject that statement because that doesn't. You know what I think that's really not happens? realistic. I think government bonds are ugly. That's for Lori. There you go. Government, <laughs> bonds. government bonds, super ugly. ugly. Roseanne said, Brian, bond. watch it. And they're hard to kidnap. But, um, Janelle, <laughs> seriously, though. So you're saying that Len's a liar if he looks at you and says, You're the most beautiful woman. You're the most beautiful yes. woman in the world. Yeah. Why? So you think your he husband's a liar? You. I'm texting no. him. Len no, just logically Len, speaking, Janelle that doesn't even make sense. And I don't need that in my relationship. Ask any that husband. is so they really believe it. That's so They okay. really believe so it. Dave. Insignificant. Let's get Josh in here, schedule the women's conference, at which we will be the primary speaker. <laughs> you guys Because women lust. apparently need this more than we realized, Brian. This this <laughs> has to Roseanne happen. In and we'll, the house. We'll, We'll have uh, Chick-fil-A. Roseanne, we can go teach the men next month. Roseanne says just because... So you don't get fat and ugly. (laughs) uh, Roseanne says just because you're on a diet doesn't mean you can't look at the menu. Thank you. It doesn't mean that you don't look at it. You look at it. That's what I tell Lynn. Why do you keep it a secret? Be real. If you're like, yeah, she's cute, tell me. You don't have to hide that from me. One, Actually, to your defense, one wise philosopher said... If you want to be happy for the rest of your life, never make a pretty woman your wife. And from my personal point of view, get an ugly girl to what marry the you. Heck? Man, your wife is ugly, but she sure can cook. <laughs> That's a song. You never heard yes, that song. That's a song. Why you said if you no. want to be happy for the rest of your life. You never heard the song, Dave? Apparently, I haven't. Um, wow. You guys are all losers. Roseanne, I, I love you, Roseanne. You're my girl. Thank you. What did she say? They don't what get did it. she say? She said, preach, Janelle. She said, I would love to hear a man say that to me. I, I bet, I guarantee tonight, if you bring she up to Lynn. would love to hear a man say what? If the, she's the most beautiful woman in the world? No. Yeah, I bet she, that's what no, she means. No, Roseanne's the same one that was like, you could look at a menu, it's not that deep. I don't understand why women got an issue with this. And she says she'd love to hear that from a man. That's not realistic. I'm sorry. If no, I'd like you to go on tonight and say, "Len, my I, security need to sit and talk. in my marriage is not based on oh, I'm the most beautiful in the world to him." <laughs> what you're going to say is you're going to no. go home tonight. You can go, Len, sit down. I bring to the table lots more I, than I'm that. I'm your wife. I'm That's your helper. Crazy. As the scriptures say, help me. I'm calling you to repentance, Len. You think I'm the most beautiful woman in the world, and I know you're a big fat liar. <laughs> so I'd like you to <laughs> repent right now. Oh, and I'm going to show you. Get mad at you. I'm going to show you ten pictures of women, and I want you to tell me if you think they're hot. Right now. <laughs> yeah. I'd like you to rate them all, please. I just got called in for overtime. I gotta go. <laughs> Rob <laughs> says thank you, Rob. Yeah, cause Marcy's awesome. D- uh, Rob says my wife knows my thoughts on Halle Berry and Charlie. How do you pronounce that? I don't even know. There you go. It's supposed to be she Charlize knows. There. Thank you. That's keeping it and real in our relationships. Keep it real. Here's how David I am I not that. weak. You can tell me somebody's cute, and I know you ain't going nowhere, and I know I'm cute too. We could have two cute women at the same time. Here's what David and I thank say. Thank you. We say Halle who, who, what? <laughs> I think it's Halle really who. Really. Yeah, right. Who's that? That's whatever. Now, in in Janelli's defense, I have said to my wife, if you predecease me, is it inappropriate to bring a date to the funeral? 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Or, and she says, well, it depends. If I've been laying in state for a while, then probably no. But I probably wouldn't do that. Which leads to another question women should never ask. If I die before you, who would you marry? Nobody. Don't ever ask that. No. Because the answer is nobody compares to you, baby. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be lonely. Yeah. Wow. Look Sheila, at, she, Sheila says if it's a celebrity, a, if it's which a, one of my friends would you marry? <laughs> yeah, don't don't ever don't ask fall that. for that. No, I've actually brought up a friend, but like, yo, would it be interesting? <laughs> you <laughs> did? She? I this did. is like a a, a big Super setup. Weird. This is a setup. All this information is being stored <laughs> for a later date. I know. No wonder when it's going to be a so because he knows it's going to come out at some point in time, and there's nothing he can do about it. Oh no wonder God. Len is always crabby. Sarah says, I didn't realize this bothered Brian so much. I guess I should stop saying men are good looking. <laughs> Say, I was wondering if she was on my team. We were supposed to be quiet <laughs> over time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. I knew it. Sarah and I are so similar. You ask Len that? You're like, wouldn't you want to marry this? My, my I always though. tell him, and I tell my kids, when I die... Do not, and I tell them how to treat their, because I'm like, your dad, I want him to get with other people. You have my permission to love her, all that. And then I tell Len one time, I said, you wow. know. He is always wondering if people, he always thinks people ought to get him. <laughs> no wonder. I told him one time, I was like, would it be interesting if you got with so-and-so if I passed? <laughs> what did he say to that? To no, like he looked super uncomfortable. I was like, because ah, really? he did. How strange. <laughs> Why was he uncomfortable by that question? Yeah. But well, you know what? What if he would have said, yeah, you know, I thought about that too. I just think. No, could you imagine? We the should be. Fury. I want to have the relationship where we could just talk about stuff. Mm. Okay. We talked about being super sensitive. He's my husband. All right. So that, that being the case, read Mike's comment. Go ahead, real loud, real slow. Ladies, slowly. if your man tells you you're the most beautiful lady in the world, oh my gosh. No, he yes. didn't say that. Mike, thank no. you. Dave, would you read that? Because Janelle's in Cape. That's okay. Dumb. Ladies, oh if your God. man tells you you're the most beautiful lady in the world. Believe them. It's to them. It's true. And with that, true. I think we're done. We we proved our point. Mike said it. Mike said it. Dave believes it. Ladies conference coming. Brian and I are the speakers. Chick fil A salads. Let eat let go. No. Because Man. we don't want you to go. What you think I can have fried chicken? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want me to get fat and ugly? Then you won't kidnap me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sarah, shout out to you. I'm, I'm in trouble later. Bye.